Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs, better known as Skunk Works, has released concept images of its MQ-25 Stingray design, an unmanned carrier launch tanker plane. The refueling drone will compete against designs from Boeing and General Atomics for a Navy contract to build a fleet of the aircraft. The Navy's MQ-25 program seeks a refueling drone that can perform catapult launch takeoffs and arrested landings on aircraft carriers. The tanker should be capable of passing 14,000 pounds of fuel to other planes at a range of 500 nautical miles from the carrier. Such a tanker could significantly extend the operating range of carrier-based fighter jets like the F-18 Super Hornet and F-35C Joint Strike Fighter. A Super Hornet, for example, has a strike range of about 450 nautical miles, the Stingray could extend that range to more than 700 nautical miles. Lockheed's single-engine flying wing design is somewhat reminiscent of the B-2 Spirit, though with only a slightly longer wingspan than a fighter jet. It will need to be compact and equipped with folding wings to operate in the tight confines of an aircraft carrier flight deck. Though the program does not call for stealth capabilities, Skunk Works MQ-25 prototypes low profile could have modest stealth benefits. A spokesperson for Lockheed Martin told Popular Mechanics that it is working toward the Navy's requirements, and stealth is not one of them, but Lockheed can absolutely rapidly integrate stealth into additional mission systems. The tanker, however, is designed to carry gas, and the concrete images from Lockheed show the aircraft flying with a fuel pod mounted on its belly. The aircraft appears to have a camera and possibly sensors on its nose, likely for a remote pilot to fly the drone. It's possible that the Lockheed MQ-25 design also calls for some autonomous systems, such as collision avoidance or an automatic recall to the carrier. The U.S. Navy is expected to award a contract for the MQ-25 in around September of this year, with the first deliveries coming in the earlier mid-2020s.